just lost for words. We can't go anywhere like this. We got a hundred miles to go. And then that's our last leg of day two. But at the moment, we're not going anywhere. Morning everyone, if you're watching it in the morning. 6.30 a.m. Me and Steve-o. Morning. Having a bit of breakfast. Um, I mean, having ham and eggs, I'll just, I'll just. A little bit of energy, keep us going this morning. So, yeah, today we've got, um, it's 100, mile, 100 miles less. It's 428, I believe. Let me just have a quick look. 432. So today we are going from Bordeaux, because that's where we are. We're going down to Toulouse, um, have a little stop there, and then a little stop at Andorra, because that's the Spanish-French border, and then finish at Tortosa, which is where we're gonna stay the night. So, um, yeah, 100 miles less, and I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Yesterday was tough. Um, in actual fact, Steve will give you a little idea. Steve's been riding 40 years. So, Steve, how tough was that? In 40 years of riding, all year round, wind, rain, snow, I've never ridden in rain like that. I had noise blockers in, because I don't like the wind noise and I could hear it as if I didn't have them in. And I was having trouble seeing him in front of me. So we made the right call, pulled over under a bridge. We had lightning coming down as well. And the cars on the road just didn't give a monkeys. So no. right call by us, or by Darren mainly, because he couldn't see through his visor, pulled over under a bridge, waiting for it to pass. Never ridden in conditions like it before. Unreal. No, Unreal. it was tough. Very tough going. <laughs> yeah, but we got through it. Because at the end of the day, you can stop as many times as you like, but you still have to get here. Got to keep going, yeah. So you got to keep going. But there was a point of danger where, you know, if you can't see, what's the? <laughs> you got to stop at some point. Well, the water was that deep on the road. Even my traction control light was going off. So that tells you that the bike was aquaplaning itself. That's a 260 kilo motorbike loaded up with me as well and still the traction control light was going off to let me know that the rear wheel was spinning up. Yeah. Right call, cool. pull over. Yeah. And we had 29 miles to go. <laughs> so we'd done all, all that journey, but that's how bad it was. Yeah. I said to Steve, there's 29 miles, that's yeah. it, we're done. Half but, an hour, that's all we had, wasn't it? Yeah. Half an hour. But it was great. I'm, I'm just, I can't believe I didn't film any of it. I mean, we was a mess. It was so, it was a bit scary actually, to mm. be fair. Yeah. Because once you pulled over, you still had the lorries coming, you know, and we got our hazard lights on, but uh, yeah, it was it was a rough, rough day, but <laughs> <laughs> we've got it out of the way and now we're on day two. So we keep you posted. As soon as I get a bracket for, for my bike, uh, I can give you some footage. Um, as we're riding around. Uh, I didn't show you this uh, bathroom, although very briefly yesterday, I had all my clothes hanging up, didn't I? Um, and yes, it all dried out lovely. So thanks to this little dryer, I had it on my jeans and then just put everything else in here, hung it all up <laughs> and it worked, um, which is so handy because I've got dry clothes to wear today because I couldn't, couldn't pack any. Um, but nice clean shower, you know, it's all you, it's all you want in a place, isn't it? Clean, somewhere to relax. Um, right, so we've just had a little chat, having our breakfast, saying about the, um, the route down, Tortosa and Andorra. 
we're not going to be able to stop off at these places. So because of time, because we found out yesterday that even though it's eight hours riding, that's solid riding. So you have to stop every, every 100 miles we were stopping to fill up, maybe a coffee. Well, those half hours add up. So if you're stopping five times, that's two and a half hours on top of the trip, you know? So uh, it's a tough one. So what we decided is to go down and just skim the Pyrenees. So we're gonna go down that way to um, Tortosa. So hopefully show you a little bit of the Pyrenees. Um, as I say, I haven't got my bike camera, but we'll stop there and uh, we'll we get some shots there while we're there. But yeah, so this is day two. Get day two out of the way and it's a bit more uh, relaxing. Day three, I think is 200 miles, something like that. So we've got a bit more time to see things. So yeah, we're gonna get going in a minute. It is uh, quarter past seven. Uh, French time so we'll probably probably be on the road about quarter to eight and, and uh, start our next journey all right we're just uh, about to leave got the tank bag on there that's it that's all I got in my rucksack Steve all singing all dancing look he's 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 going for a month <laughs> but like I always said I said to Steve day one I said look you know, you're going to be the most comfortable uh, ride down there. Um, because I said in, a, in video one, the last thing I wanted to do was carry this on my back. But here we are. We've done 538 miles with that on my back. So if I can do that, today is 428. So that's a breeze considering yesterday. And with the weather yesterday, I, I don't even want to go there again. But... Today is a nice day. It's going up to about 19 degrees. I'll take that. So we're setting off. See you in a bit. Just uh, our first pit stop of the day. Um, we've only come about uh, 50 miles, but we needed fuel, so. Yeah, we've noticed as well that southern Spain, uh, France, we haven't got to Spain yet. Southern France is so more picturesque, so much more greenery, and you see lots of um, like woods along the, the A roads. Whereas all the way to Bordeaux, it was quite, um, you know, just motorway, nothing to see. So yeah, I've noticed that a lot as we get into southern Spain. Said it again, southern France. See, I'm so eager to get there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna show you as much as we can along the way, um, time permitting. Um, just got a, a red ball, gonna down that and then do another 100, 150 miles till our next stop. Uh, we got, uh, I've just seen on the sat nav, 385 miles to go till we get to Tortosa. Sugar rush and then on our way. Would you believe it? It's raining again. So we've had to pull in. Stopped at the service station, filled up. We're going to get something to eat, there's nowhere to sit, so we're going to go to the next one because um, I've got a wet bum again. Can you believe this weather? <laughs> oh, anyway. Right, I'm going to film it for you this time. Look, it's a wrench of rain, I'm soaked to the skin again. That's um, that's rigging. This is this is perforated. So uh, pull into a truck stop, and it's the only one we've stopped in so far where there's nowhere to sit. 
so we can't even sit down and chill for an hour this is where it's not fun I'm shaking because I'm freezing um, yeah just wanted to show you that this is the weather we had yesterday as well so got my clothes soaked got them dry and now they're soaked again and the trouble is see these bags are not completely waterproof they're rain proof so it gets in them in them as well but uh yeah uh oh look at me shaking um right just showing you the rain because it's lovely it was more frustrating for me is uh, I just wanted to get, get going, crack on, you know, so you get more time taking in the places that you're staying in. But it's going to be another one of them days where we finally get going. I'm going to be freezing. And then I just want to go back to the hotel room, dry off, and uh, go to bed again. And that's the shame of it, even though we've got an, an end goal to get to Tenerife. I still wanted to try to, to enjoy the um, locations along the way and so far that's not been the case and that's that's the shame <laughs> well sorry guys I can't I really can't stop shivering <sighs> that was tough so from the last time I spoke I've done another hundred miles through some crazy rain and then and then the last 25 minutes there was no rain and then it warmed up to about 16 degrees as it went down to 8 degrees which is not great but uh, we've stopped to fill up again with 185 miles to go to uh, our Day two destination of hotel. Woo! It's tough. It's great, but it's tough. It's just unbelievable that the two days that we ride through France and Spain we get this I can't I've lost count the amount of times I've got soaked to the skin and then the warm wind has dried me out and then it comes again it's just unbelievable Lost for words. We can't go anywhere like this. We got a hundred miles to go, and then that's our last leg of day two. But at the moment, we're not going anywhere. We've got a, a tiny spell where it's not waning. I'll just set a steam. Let's pull over and take a snapshot of this. Um, but I'll show you the the hotel room as well, at the Behringer. It's got a hairdryer as well, so I'll be using that all night long again and hanging all my clothes up.
it's just like really <laughs> so yeah day two same thing again hair dryer on the clothes because I need them for tomorrow because if you miss day one um, I didn't have enough room to bring more clothes because I had issues with uh, the luggage bag on the bike so yeah it's it's not ideal shall we say but we make do don't we yeah but I love those little and tiny little villages that we what is here love all that morning <laughs> just having a walk about in um, Tortosa because today we've only got a 254 mile trip so we've had a bit more of a relaxed morning <clears throat> and we was gonna go uh, to some little stops along the way to Alicante but we've decided not to because of the last two days you can't predict the weather they didn't predict rain yesterday we had worse rain yesterday than we did the day before um, and it's it takes its toll it really does uh, so we're gonna go directly to Alicante obviously stop off for fuel on the way but um, be able to show you more of Alicante when we get there instead of just turning up and going to bed <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I'll show you a bit more of to, to, I keep wanting to say Toulouse. Tortosa. Tortosa. Yeah, We're having a little walk around and we've just realized it's Sunday. So we can't find anywhere open. So we're gonna get on the bikes, get on route. We need to fill up fairly soon anyway and we we'll grab a bite to eat for breakfast then. So that's what we're going to do. So this is Tortosa. We'll say goodbye to this. Day three, on to Alicante. Right, so there's a garage around the corner. Um, the coffee machine only takes cash. <laughs> Didn't have any cash on me, so I'm going to rise to the next one. I need a coffee. 